Hey guys, welcome to Restovin. My name is Kushal and in this video I'm going to show you how to create the DigitalOcean account and also set up the Ubuntu Cloud Server droplet. So before we get started, uh, I would like to share that uh, these are going to be a couple of video series that I'm creating in order to help you to understand how to set up the droplet, how to configure the, your uh, Ubuntu Cloud Server, also some of the security and optimization tips along with installing the WordPress on your cloud server. So we would be using the LAMP stack that is Linux, Nginx, MySQL and PHP. So we are going to have our WordPress set up on the LAMP stack. So it, this is the first video of the series uh, in which uh, I would be just giving the basics like how to create the account and also a set up a droplet. So let's get started. So before we get start, uh, what I wanted to share is like I have a deal link or a referral link uh, which you, which can help you to get around uh, fifty dollars of credit and uh, that you can purchase or you can spend it in a month, thirty days time period. After that, you would be billed. So in order to get that fifty dollars free credit at the initial start to set up your droplet and get started learning with the DigitalOcean account, this would be really helpful for you. Head out to your favorite browser, mine is Chrome, and uh, open restobin.com. So on this top bar you will see a tab called Setup. And in this setup you will have DigitalOcean. So click on this button, it will redirect you to the digitalocean.com. So here you can see this green bar with saying that you have a $50 and a 30 days credit from a friend so all you need to do is you complete your registration here so there are two ways uh, one you can create uh, you can uh, use your uh, email id and a new password to create an account or you can sign up with google so i already have a sign in my gmail account so i would be using my google account to sign up and uh, the best part i don't have to remember my password for DigitalOcean again so asking me to verify so I just hit on send it will send a text message to my mobile phone and there you go seven five seven six eight four that's it So once you sign in, you will be navigated back to your DigitalOcean droplet. So here it's asking you to enter the uh, billing info. I'm going to fill in my credit card details in here. I would be skipping this part and then I once I would save this card, so maybe it will navigate me to the droplet, the login dashboard. So I filled my credit card details and I saved that. Then it had navigated me to some welcome page where I it's a simple welcome page uh, yeah, which is asking a basic information like uh, what technologies you're going to use, what is the strength of your organization, what all tools you're going to use. So it's a basic and you just uh, have to enter the basic information and then just uh, hit save. So once you are done, you will be navigated to this uh, console, the cloud console of DigitalOcean where you actually the work is going to start now. So this is my console, it's uh, pretty simple. Uh, here you have a number of droplets that you have. So currently I don't have any droplets since it's a new account. So Kubernetes, volumes, databases. So there are a couple of uh, tabs in here, like you can manage your profile, billing, security, and referrals. So currently I'm into my restore bin demo and I don't see any project created. So let's start with uh, spinning up first droplet, which is uh, Ubuntu Linux droplet. So once you're into the projects, just go click on get start with the droplet. So here you have uh, multiple options. So I would be selecting the Ubuntu and the latest version is uh, 19 but i would be using the 18.04 which is currently the stable version so whatever the default is just 
select that and move on so choose a plan starter so there are a couple of plans in here so currently I have a credit of uh, let me show you how to see the credits so currently you can see I have a credits of $50 which is valid for a month and I already have my credit card details uploaded so let me go back to the, my project so yeah so since I have $40 so what I'm going to use is since I'm, it's, it's, I'm planning for it for the long term so I would be starting with uh, a very basic very uh, lowest plan for now so I have selected Ubuntu uh, starter that is a standard plan and if you tap on this you will have a plan which is starting at $5 a month which has a capacity of uh, 1 GB RAM 25 GB of hard disk space SSD and 1 TB of transfer that is bandwidth so once you selected the plan you have selected what are the billings how you want the configurations just in case if you want to upgrade it to the ten dollars or fifteen dollars you can choose uh, so you can have a general idea like what is the difference so it's 1 GB RAM it's 2 GB RAM with 50 GB uh, hard disk space and 2 GB transfer so as you navigate in the billing you will have the more features included in your cloud server so I'm just going to choose the basic one and uh, in this I'm going to use the droplet so you have an option to enable the backup so this uh, backup thing I'm going to cover in the later part of the video in the later series of video and uh, here you have option to choose the data center so it's basically depend on uh, which location you are targeting to say suppose if you are targeting to Singapore just go select Singapore if your target location is London that is UK or Europe then you can select this Frankfurt or London uh, if you are if your major targeting is at uh, New York I mean North America then you can select either Toronto or Canada New York sorry, uh, New York San Francisco and if you're targeting India then you can just go select Bangalore so for me I would be selecting a uh, New York and uh, there are two more options I have that is one and three so I would be selecting the third option there are some additional options here to enable the IP6 user data monitoring so I would be uh, enabling the IP6 and uh, monitoring so this will help me to monitor how my droplet is performing and IP and IP6 supports the IP6. So authentication. So I have two authentication option. One is the SSS key and other is the one-time password. So I would be using a one-time password. So what happens is uh, if you use a one-time password, you will get an uh, email uh, notification which has a one-time password to log in into your account and then you can change the root password once you log in into your uh, droplet backend now here how many droplets uh, so I just want one droplet for now and choose a host name so say suppose I will give a host name as restrobe and demo fair enough and select the project so which I'm already in there so just create so this should shouldn't take more than a minute so it takes generally like 55 seconds or something so by the time it it's been up the droplet let's uh, walk you through other sections so I already shown you the uh, billing section where I have a credit of $50 so if you go and scroll a little bit here you can see the droplet transfer option so in this droplet transfer you will have you can see how much bandwidth you are being used uh, till a month so it will start recording from the day your droplet is created and uh, it would be renewed every month so for say suppose this is July month sorry June month so you would be able to see the entire June month's droplet uh, data so here you also have a billing alert say suppose uh, you have set up an alert of $20 if uh, the billing for that particular month has crossed more than $20 you will get an email so these are the payment methods 
your local service tax gst and uh, yeah building history the promotional credit so the hyperlink which i have shared so let's go back and see if this is ready okay my droplet is set up and i see there are a couple of emails that i received so this might have a root password so if I go here and see, uh, so it's Ubuntu 18.6, all the configuration that I selected, that is one core CPU, one GB RAM with 25 dB of uh, 25 GB of SSD space, $5 a month NYC, and this is my IP address. So yes, uh, so that's all for this video. Uh, in the upcoming videos, I'm going to show you uh, how to log in uh, using the root password that you received into your SSS as well as uh, SFTP that is secure file transfer so we would be using uh, two softwares in that one is the uh, putty which is for Windows and uh, Mac has a terminal and we can use the terminal itself and we would be using a FileZilla which is a file transfer protocol uh, software which is available for both the Windows as well as Mac. So that I would be covering the next video for this video. That's all for today and uh, cheers guys. Uh, keep watching the space. Thanks.